The King of the Pins is a prestigious 10-pin bowling tournament held annually in the 10-pin bowling capital of the world, Finchley in North London. The tournament had existed unofficially for years in various forms and attracted the very best talent from all around the world before it was officially codified by AWE Bowling. The first annual, internationally recognised, officially sanctioned King of the Pins tournament was held in 2015. Both the tournament itself and the identities of the bowlers involved have long been shrouded in secrecy. However, we were given unprecedented access into the daily life of Nero, known as the Terminator, who was an ever-present force at previous tournaments as he prepared for the most important day of his year. Nero, thank you for bringing us with you on this momentous journey. What are your thoughts on the King of the Pins tournament? You know, there's, there's a lot of thoughts going on in my head. Um, the main one's finally, finally I'm here. I had a lot of doubters along the way, people thinking I wouldn't make it. Maybe not I had the best track record, but I'm here now. No, the past doesn't matter. None of that matters. I'm here now. I'm ready. No one loves bowling more than me. No one. And, and I'm ready. And this Monday, I'll show the world why I, I deserve to be the King of the Pins. The King of the Pins attracts bowlers from all around the world, and Nero is no different, making many sacrifices, including a monumental 400 mile journey to be here. Nero, how have you prepared for the King of the Pins? Is there anything special? Do you have any tricks up your sleeve? Well, you know, the past year I've thought about nothing, nothing other than those pins, nothing other than the game. I dedicated my life. This is, I want this more than anything else in the world. I may not have the best technique, I may not be the most accomplished bowler, but you ask me if I have a secret weapon, my secret weapon is my heart. I care more about this than any other person on this entire planet, and tomorrow I'm going to show the world just that. The sun rises over London. Today is the 15th of June, 2015. Today is the day that five men at the very top of their professions have been training for over the past year. Today is when they find out whether the blood, sweat and tears has all been worth it. Today is the day that the King of Pins will be crowned. With the King of the Pins tournament merely hours away, you appear to be very relaxed. Just how do you keep your cool before big tournaments? You know, I, I could be on my feet now, I could be pacing around, I could have all sorts of worries in my head. Do I, have I trained enough? Have I prepared enough? Have I studied the game enough? But there's no point worrying like that now. I know, I know I'm ready. I know how much I want this and I know that I'm going to win. All that remains is for Nero and his four opponents to pit their skills against one another in the winner-takes-all spectacular that is the King of the Pins. Nero found early success with his well-trained, though unorthodox techniques. <laughs> the results of months of hard toil were plain to see when and where it really mattered. Hello. His quick lead to put his opponents on the back foot as the elusive Kimichi, Dublin's favourite demon Denny, the magician Trevor Hanley and particularly Alberto Del Tribute struggled to keep pace. <laughs> What would you say to the rampant claims that the PG era has ruined AWE bowling? Oh, fuck off. 
However, the pressure of the occasion began to take its toll on all competitors. The Terminator, perhaps, suffered most of all. The stakes were too high, the rewards were too great, and the weight of expectation fell on tired and weary shoulders. At the halfway stage, after the first of two frames of bowling, things didn't look good for Nero. But Nero isn't one to lie down and surrender on the grandest stage of them all. At this halfway stage, who do you think's got it in the bag? <laughs> Who's got it in the bag? Oh, it's me. It's him. Who's got it in the bag? It's me. It's gonna make I can. Despite a spirited fight back and showing notable improvements in the second frame, ultimately Nero fell short of his goal. The king of the pins for 2015 was coronated, but the crown did not sit atop the Terminator's head. Denny, what is your opinion on fellow King of the Pins competitor, Nero the Terminator? Oh, I can't fault his, his charisma, his intensity in the sport, and though he didn't manage to achieve what he feels is his destiny, I believe he will come, go start training, come back strong, and one day that type will be his. Been a roller coaster of a journey, but thank you very much for sharing it with us. One question remains: What's next for the Terminator? Well, obviously, I'm disappointed. Yesterday, I, I gave it my all, but on the day it turned out, there was a better man. But I can tell you one thing for sure, for absolutely sure: I'll come back. in the credit scene that talks you about. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. Hello, I'm breaking the floor Yeah, that's no, no, not as funny now. This is this is my chance to show everyone that I was right. Uh, can we do another take? Nero, thank you for bringing us with you on this momentous journey. What are your thoughts? On the King of the Rings, oh fucking hell. The most technical, technically gifted thing. <laughs> I bet I. Australia. With the King of the Pins tournament merely. I wasn't ready. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell. Thanks, <laughs> good.